In this video, we'll talk about top 15 things apart from bookish knowledge, which is very, very important for qualifying the CSI and exam. Hello, my name is Shekhar Suman. I am the CEO and Managing Director of Biotechnica and Rasayanika. And we help students qualify CSIR net and gate exams without struggling with the subjects. If you're looking to qualify CSIR net exam, then be sure to keep tuning in for more exceptional videos like this one. So let's get started. Let's start this video with the question, can a bookish knowledge, can bookish knowledge alone help you qualify CSI net exam? Now for most of you, you know this question has a pretty straightforward answer. And the answer is no. It is not possible to qualify this exam just by bookish knowledge. But in that case, the question is, what else you need to know apart from bookish knowledge to qualify CSI net exam? Now, if you go on YouTube or if you go on Facebook or if you join any coaching company, you'll find teachers. You'll find teachers who are doing their job teaching subjects such as cell biology, molecular biology, genetics, ecology, evolution, etc. But no one is talking about some very important aspects of this exam, which is which are not there in the books, but you must know, you must know and execute. So today I'm going to enlist and give you 15 things apart from bookish knowledge, which is very, very important for you to qualify CSINET. If you want to qualify CSINET, you must know these 15 things. So let's get started. Number one, daily scheduling hacks. Now, if you have to prepare, if I was in your shoes, I will never start the preparation battle without a proper plan. Remember when I say proper plan, I did not say perfect plan. There is no plan in this world which is perfect. But definitely a proper plan is better than no plan, isn't it? All right, so let's get started with the daily scheduling hacks now. The first thing to uh, do is divide your day in at least three to four chunks of at least 1.5 to two hours. Now this can be either 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. morning, or 10 a.m. to 12 noon, or 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., or 6 to 8 p.m., or 9 to 12, 11 p.m. These are all uh, slots you can choose. Now, it depends on whether you're an early riser or a late nighter. So now that you have divided your day into study slots, you need to choose what you will do in each slot. So you can do revision in one of the slots, and rest can be studies. Now, always keep revision as either the first thing of the day or the last thing of the day. However, I personally feel first study slot of the day as a revision slot, whatever you choose. Now the rest three slots are still left which you can accommodate with studying topics which you please as per your slots, as per your plan. Now if you want to know what you should study, so we have a study planner, the link is given in the description, description of this video. If you're subscribed to Biotechnica, then you'll keep getting more updated study planners every six months. So be sure to subscribe to our website and the YouTube channel. Number two, habit formation hacks. Okay, so now that you have the DSH or daily schedule hacked, you need to hack your habits. I'll give you three formulas to hack your habits, which I learned from James Clear, the habit guru, and they are, number one, make punctuality your habit, your identity. People should know you that you worship time. Number two, make studying attractive, easy, and help with the help of study aids and reward yourself each time you achieve a goal. Number three, track your habits and find out how you can optimize them to suit your daily goals. Number three, exam rule hacks. Now there are five exam rule hacks which you need to know. I have made a separate video, the link is given in the description on how to hack exam rules. Be sure to watch that out. All right, moving ahead, number four, right mentor. Why do you need a right mentor? Now, the question is very simple. As saying, you could have learned to walk in your childhood by yourself without your parents teaching you. 
Now, no one can become Sachin Tendulkar of his or her field without having the right mentor. So invest in a good coaching company, which can take responsibility of helping you with this. Now, in this case, Biotechnica and Rasainica can always be your best friends because we have tons of mentors and expert, expert faculty members who have been doing just that every day for past 14 years. Number five, syllabus hacks. Now, this is very simple yet very powerful hack, which you need to know. Syllabus for CSINET exam is not just vast, but that is why CSINET exam is called the mother of all the exams. And that's why you must know syllabus hacking. How to do that? Very simple. Divide the syllabus into three parts. Very important, important, not so important. Now then target the very important topics first, followed by important topic, and you can skip the not so important topics. Remember, you are here to qualify the exam and not to do PhD on exam syllabus. So shun that idea of covering that syllabus. Only losers focus on syllabus. Smart students focus on data science related to syllabus. So if you are a smart student, then check out the Kickstarter webinar recording. The link is given in the description, which will help you identify three key aspects of syllabus hacking. Number six, question practice hacks. Now, this is needless to say, you uh, need to practice questions. Now, most students pick up question bank and start solving. But that's the wrong way to solve questions. That's a wrong approach. Instead, focus on questions that are easy, which uh, and which ones are, you, you should skip. So essentially, you need to train your brain on question paper decision making. And if you want to master that, then kindly watch the question pickup training webinar. The video recording link is given in the description that will help you to do just that. Number seven, time management hacks. This is for those three hours of the exam when you're sitting solving questions. If you want to excel, then you need to mimic exam conditions. Every week, at least once, you sit with the question paper in between the exam timings which life science is connected, which is 9 a.m. to 12 noon. So solve the questions on a laptop or a computer so that you are accustomed to do that. Additionally, you need to divide your time between the first, uh, between first solving part C questions, then part B questions, and if time, time permits, part A questions. Remember, there is no sectional cutoff. So you can focus first on most scoring part C, then go to part B. Also, you need to first pick up and solve easy questions from part C, then move to the medium difficulty level. Remember, no one is going to give you a Nobel Prize to solve the extra difficult questions in the question paper. So refrain yourself from doing that. Number eight, using technology tools to your advantage. Now, technology is your best friend and I will remain your best friend too. But how you make use of technology makes all the difference. The first tech hack is using alarm clock to stick to your schedule. The second tech hack is measuring how much time you're wasting on mobile. You can download the Stay Free app to do that. The third tech hack is using iPad and Apple Pencil to make notes so that you can carry the notes wherever you want. If you want, if you cannot afford an iPad, then you can use, uh, you know, a different note scanning app so that you can carry notes everywhere. The fourth tech hack is downloading Pomodoro app to study using the Pomodoro technique. The fifth tech hack is using home workout app to keep yourself fit. Moving ahead, number nine, using study tools. Now picture this, if you're sitting on, in an exam and you're not able to recall, crucial concept. Now this happens only when you use textual memory, not the photographic memory. Now to solve this problem, I strongly recommend you to use study aids such as colorful flowcharts, flashcards, concept clouds, short notes, etc. Now all these study aids are also available on Biotechnica stores. So check it out. The link is given in the description to download them or to order them. Number 10, taking advantage of 
other people's mistake. You can achieve this by joining study groups where serious students solve tough questions together and then discuss on how to solve it. Now, this comes with a strict warning and that is do not go and join any random group on the internet. Instead, form a group of four to five close friends around you who are also preparing for CS and exam. You can even take help of Biotechnica's 24 into 7 chat support for doubt solving provided by Biotechnica and Rasainika jointly to achieve this. Number 11, avoid online gossip. Now, the biggest problem of self-doubt arises when student starts listening to online gossip, which starts, which starts their, killing their preparation spirit. Remember, you are a human and you have weakness. Your brain can get heavily distracted if you start reading online go gossip. So minimize your Facebook and WhatsApp usage using the Stay Free app and focus on studies. Number 12, revision hacking. How can you revise faster? smarter, better, so that you can recall concepts faster during the exam. Very simple. Use study aids, which I mentioned earlier. Another point I would like to add here is you have to use spaced revisions. For this, I made a separate video. The link is given in the description. You can take some time out and check it out. It will help you a lot on revision aspects. Number 13, smart memory recall hacks. Now, smart students use smart memory recall techniques to qualify this exam. Research suggests that we remember things better and retain them longer when we associate the meaning to them using the semantic encoding. For example, when you associate a biochemical pathway with the organ where it happens and vice versa. Now, to retrieve a memory, your brain replays or revisits the nerve pathway created when the memory was formed. Now, repeatedly recalling information helps strengthen those connections and your memories as well. Now, techniques like reviewing your notes using flashcard helps you retain information. Remember the neurons which wire together, fire together. So you need to wire your brain during practice to help you recall faster during the exam. You also need to do lifestyle changes that can improve your memory, such as sleeping at least six hours a day and designing a meal plan, etc. Number 14, study plan optimization hacks. Remember, when you are studying, you are the pilot of your preparation plane. You are the single most important traveler of that plane and you are also the engineer of that plane. So you need to engineer and optimize your preparation plan by 1% every day. Then only you can achieve 37 times better result at the end of the year. Number 15 and very important exercise. Now picture this, you're sitting in exam hall and you're, you start getting severe headache or severe back pain. And maybe you start feeling feverish or maybe other symptoms. Imagine how these small things can negatively impact your performance in the exam. Thus, you need to design a smart meal plan and a smart exercise regimen throughout your preparation duration. Then only you can hit a six in this match called CSIRnet. Now these 15 points, which is very, very important to qualify the exam, but no one talks about it. The reason behind this is all these are real secrets. And today, now that I have shared these secrets with you, go execute your plan smarter and better this time. Remember, these strategies keep evolving with time. So be sure to subscribe to Biotechnica's YouTube channel and Facebook fan page. We'll keep you updated when we post the next version of this video and many more such videos in the future. Till then, keep learning and never ever give up. Bye-bye.